What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chris Gunner Show. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure that you like and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. This is definitely going to be a good interview just because all the stuff we didn't say off camera, all the laughs and whatnot. Yeah, sure. Without any further ado, the Chris Gunther Show welcome singer and songwriter Richard McBride. What's going on with you, brother? Good, man. How are you? Good to see you, man. Me too, always. You know, I love that ice. That ice looks ah, beautiful. You know, I don't pull it out often, but, you know, yeah, I feel special. Occasion, you know. I, this is with you, bro. <laughs> I love it, though, man. And, you know, speaking about special occasions, you are actually getting ready to have an album release. Congratulations on it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, June 4th, uh, the Regency House, Mahoning Avenue in Austin Town. So looking forward to a good time, man. Believe the album is entitled My Journey? My Journey is the name of the album. And um, it basically uh, just me putting out my feelings from my journey and you know how life has been for me the past couple of years you take me back through the journey man like when did your love for music all start for you uh i say i started loving music as a kid um going to my grandma's church actually uh she was pastor to late anna Gaines, mm -hmm. and um she had her own church and you know i used to sing in the choir and i was a choir director and it's actually Part of the reason why I wear this Jesus piece because uh, when I was a kid, long story short, I had a chain of Michael Jackson on my necklace and mm -hmm. she, she saw it and she said, uh, who is that? I'm like, it's Michael Jackson, grandma. She like, what has he done for you? I said, nothing. Mm -hmm. She said, you need Jesus. That's who, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, so. And you can't argue with Grams. <laughs> you can't, so, you yeah, know. You can't argue with honor the Grams. Her, I still, you know. Sport to Jesus Peaks, but uh, yeah, man, um, I've just been singing since I was a kid and singing in the church, and when I got to high school, I sung with my group, uh, Open Minded, shout out to the fellas, you know, uh, and we're going to do our thing that night as well, so it's not just me singing that night, it'll be, you know, all of us, so. I was actually getting ready to ask about, you know, your musical journey in terms of groups. Like, did you ever belong to one? But you just answered that. When did you realize that there was something special about you singing? Um, I would say, like, uh, maybe freshman year of high school. I, uh, you know, was listening to Joe Seas and the Boys to Men's and all of the different type groups like that, Stevie. And I was singing the stuff that they sung and, you know, sound like them so mm -hmm. you know i i enjoyed it and you know but the love for singing it really started with mike and prince you know what i mean but it took it to another level with jodeci and you know all the groups of the 90s and the ushers and all of that so you can't go wrong with any of those artists right. that you know you just named from michael to prince to jodeci <sighs> those are what our soundtrack Legends. is yeah. i mean and you know you've actually done a lot of great things including i think it was a few years ago you and a couple of you know your guys were sitting around singing and i believe it was a cover to one of the yeah Jodeci's. it was uh my heart belongs to you by jodeci and um uh, that's one of my favorite songs and actually we'll be singing that song that night because we're gonna um, sing a lot of like 90s jams and take people down memory lane you know what i mean make people sweat a little bit from jamming you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah because the 90s was that era man where you could go to a house party and not worry about getting shot up but in 2022 things are completely different you know yeah. so how is it gonna feel for you to have the people come out and just forget about the problems just for a little bit you know what i'm i'm looking forward to a night of love you know what I mean just all positive vibes and good energy you know what I mean I'm looking forward to people networking with each other everybody that got their own business you know whether t-shirts or shoes or books or whatever they got going on I just want them to interact with each other so we can all help each other you know grow speaking about growth you know with everything good there does come some bad how were you able to grow in your music from the time you started to where you at now well uh you you deal with a lot of different situations and you know uh you learn from your mistakes and um i just pretty much got to a point where i said you know i'm 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 really a shy person but it's like when you do this music you gotta put yourself out there you know what i mean no matter who you might rub the wrong way by doing it you can't worry about all of that you just gotta push you know what i mean so part of the territory you know what i mean 
you know you had to push through a lot of things and you're not going to get into what you had to push through but how great is it to know that you can put that stuff into your music uh you know i say it was a good feeling knowing that i can use my music as my own therapy you know while i was recording it was therapy for myself and you know i said in the middle of my storm that i'm going through this for somebody else so i knew that you know, I had to look at the light at the end of the tunnel because, you know, just because things were bad at that certain time doesn't mean that they were going to always be bad. So I just kept positive and, you know, spent a lot of time alone praying and, you know, just keeping my head up at the same time and just glad with where I am now because now I feel like what I went through, maybe my album could help somebody else that's going through a divorce or heartbreak and, you know, just let them know that, you know, it gets better, you know? So I just don't want anybody to give up or do anything that, you know, might harm anybody or, you know, harm themselves or spend time in jail for something that mm -hmm. they could just pray and get through and keep moving. You know what I mean? Just move on with life. So one of the things that you mentioned was prayer. You know, prayer helps us, especially those of us as black men, because let's just Definitely. be, you know, let's just be honest. As men, we go through a lot. As black men, you go through 10 times more for simply sure. because of the color of your skin for and sure. your type of situation. So, you Definitely. know, for you, how important is prayer? Man, I, prayer was instilled in me as a little, little kid. You know what I mean? My grandma made sure that, you know, when we came to church, we got on our knees and we tarried and, you know, we just... Kids today have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Because I grew up apostolic, Pentecostal, semis of the world. Okay. And when I tell you, them tarrying services, you on your knees. Jesus, 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 right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, kids today, y'all y'all have no idea. Y'all have no You know, let me get away from that. Go ahead, Rich. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it started then and uh, something that just stayed and still within me. So, uh, something that I definitely use throughout life and, you know, that I'll probably always use you know so i thank god for his grace grace is something we all need you know and how much grace do you feel that you had to give yourself even on your journey because none of us are perfect nah you know we're not and um i did a lot of self-reflecting and um you know when you sit back and think about certain situations you it takes more than one you can't put all the blame on the other person you know what i mean especially when it comes to going through something like a divorce you you have to you know have some accountability for what you did as well so you know things happen and everybody learns and grows from it and you know move forward yeah speaking about moving forward you know you come from a lineage of people that are great singers and you know we know that a lot of people have inspired you who would you say was probably your biggest inspiration to do music Whew. I would probably say Jojo from Jodeci. He's uh, he's one of my favorite singers, and he's probably top of the list, although I have quite a few, you know, Stokely from In Condition, and Chris Brown, Michael Jackson, I'll be sure, like, I could name a ton, you know what I mean? But Jojo is that guy for me, he's always been. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, man, what does it feel like for you? Because obviously I'm not a singer at all. But what does it feel like? You know, let me go ahead and put this out here, people. Okay. I was very jealous when I saw that video of all y'all singing and it went viral. I got jealous and I got mad. Here's why I got mad. It's because I wish I could hit them notes and them runs like y'all was doing. And yeah. I think it was somebody on the guitar then, too. Or? Yeah, that was. Uh, so y'all had brothers that could sing and play all in a video. And I just scrolled yeah. on social media like this. <laughs> yeah. You know, we was just around one night, mm -hmm. you know, just chilling and he decided to pick up the guitar and we just started singing and decided to record it and never had any idea that it would get over 10,000 views. We was just, I had on work clothes. I was pain all over me. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so it was, you know, never a thought like, oh, let's do this and try to go viral. But, you know, we feel good that, you know, everybody accepted it and showed us love on that. You know showing I mean? love and it was a collaboration as well was right. there anybody locally that maybe you would like to collaborate with or not really um i've done a lot of collaborating with a lot of rappers over the years like you know they might reach out to me and want me to sing the hooks for them or you know write something and i'm always down to collab you know i don't especially with hometown you know what i mean because you know i love youngstown and 
anybody that's trying to do something that you know want to link up i'm always available to do that type of stuff is there any artists now that you listen to that are from the city that kind of got your ear um right now from the city i just listen to me <laughs> you know what i mean nothing personal i mean as far as local i, I listen to myself because i don't want to you know try to sound like anybody or you know have anybody feel like i'm taking a style or something mm -hmm. like that so i just i listen to believe it or not i listen to a lot of rap you know and uh it kind of kind of gets me going especially when i'm going to the studio to record or something uh -huh. it just get the juices going you know who would you say would be your top five rappers? Because I know it's a hard question, but that's what my job is. Who would you say is probably your top five rappers? My top five rappers, definitely Pac, Biggie, Jay-Z. Easily. Nas. And for that last spot, mm, uh, I guess I would say Jada. Can't go wrong with that one. Shit. You can't really go wrong with any of those because they're everybody's versatile and everybody has their own flavor. Is that what you always? Is that what you as well have tried to do with your music? Yeah, you know, uh, I um, listen to a lot of rap because I like to sing over rap tracks. You know what I mean? I grew up during the hip hop era, so you know, I although I love the slow, you know, um, love making type music or whatever, whatever you want to call it, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Only if y'all know why we both laughing. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, you know, I like singing over nice, nice bellow beats and some you can ride to. You know, everybody don't always want to. Yeah. Just, just, you know what I mean? They want to <laughs> vibe and you know, just chill. Is that what you're hoping that the people can get out of this album? They can just you know vibe and chill and just you know have a good time. Yeah. I mean, of course, I don't expect everybody to like every song, you know what I mean? But as long as you find you about three, four joints on there that's really, you know, inspiring and, you know, something that you like to groove to or something that just help you throughout your own journey, you know what I mean? So it's something for everybody. And nothing wrong with it. Uh, before we jump about it here, if anybody wanted or wants to purchase the album, how can they do that? Um, it'll be on all streaming platforms starting uh, June 4th. And um, there will be CDs for sale at the release party. So the actual CDs at the release party are the album, and there'll be singles for sale online starting June 4th. So I wanted to make sure the people at the party would have the first dibs to the actual album. If anybody wanted to connect with you or partner with you or maybe collaborate with you, how can they do that? Um, I'm on Instagram, uh, underscore Rich McBride, and uh, that's pretty much the easiest way to contact me through, you know, IG, you know, but other than that, um, we're still in development with the uh, website, so just, you know, to keep an update on what I got going on, I would, you know, tell them to follow the Instagram page. Do you think maybe you could give the audience a little snippet of what they're going to get on June 4th? Oh, okay. Now, then. warning, I can't help you with this one. Now. You by yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a I snippet. A not, 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 not everything, just a snippet. I got a little something, uh, a song that I wrote. Uh, it's actually about um, a friend of mine whose uh, wife had passed away. Um, shout out to Kevin Wallace. Um his wife's name was Melinda Wallace, and she passed from lupus. So um, I wrote a little song about her, so I could give you a little snippet of that if that's cool. Have at it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Why did you have to go before I can say goodbye? These tears on my Fate hey, do a thing but cry. I know I looked in your eyes for the last time. I know you're flying high like the angels in the sky. Cause you told me you 
can't wait to see what it was like to be pain free. I'm all alone because you're gone. And that's all y'all get. If you want to hear the rest, you got to come out on June 4th, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Richard McBride on the Chris Gunner Show. Keep my theme song. See y'all next time. <laughs>